Hello. I'm going to show you how to import uh, coordinates that have been uh, taken with a GPS into uh, RGIS in a way that we're going to obtain a point save file in this case. So say you have a, a set of waypoints that you have collected with your GPS and the, you have already uh, uploaded into your map source program. Uh, in my case, I'm using, or my preference is to use uh, UTM because it's easier to do distance calculations, area calculation, etc. So make sure in your uh, properties of the map source, or, sorry, in your preferences, that uh, the position grid is UTM and the datum is WGS84. Okay? Next step is to copy all the waypoints we want to have in RGIS. Yes, copy them. We open Excel and we paste them. Now, we are not interested in all these rows. We are, say, interested in the name of the waypoint, the date, and obviously the position. The rest of the rows, we're going to remove them. Let's remove them, we don't need them. And uh, we're going to keep um, these three rows. Okay, um, our map is not going to understand this 47P, which corresponds to the UTM uh, zone on Earth. Uh, so we're going to remove it first. So to do that in Excel, we go to replace 47P. Don't forget the space. It doesn't matter if it's capital or, or, or small caps and uh, we're going to replace by nothing there we have it actually uh, yeah and we're going to do some headings here uh, some headings are necessary for rgis so let's call it this name let's call this date and this is the position you see here we have uh, two groups of numbers one uh, the first one correspond to northing and the second one to easting is basically the UTM coordinates so we're going to create two more rows because we want to have those two uh, group of numbers in two different columns and uh, for the first row we want yes the six digits of the position starting starting from the left this is the formula to do it there we have it and we're going to do the same for the y coordinates in this case i use the right formula of the position and we want uh, uh, seven digits starting from the right there we have it we do the same for the rest of the waypoints and there we have this is the information we want to have this is how um, information should look for our map uh, one last thing is to save it in a format that our map can understand which is my preference at least is csv so we go save as all the formats uh, we're going to save it into a data folder called test data asset 
we want CSV comma delimited format that's my preference and it works very well with no problems and here we write the name let's call it test X Y and save it we say okay to everything and we close the Excel file yes to everything and now we can go to our map and import uh, this file file add data or we can directly add data by clicking uh, the add data icon and we add the file now we have the file but we cannot see everything because we haven't told the program to plot X and Y so we right click in the file display X Y data and as you see the program goes automatically to X and Y rows by default a non-coordinate system we have to define a coordinate system we know that we are using UTM project coordinate system so we're going to select project coordinate system UTM 1984 and we were using 47 um, 47 north north hemisphere which corresponds to Thailand and okay and then a box pops up saying basically that I'm going to be able to see the X and Y data but still it's not a safe file it's not a workable safe file so we cannot use all the tools in our GIS yet until we uh, spore the data into a safe file we're going to do it now anyways okay so we can see the points correctly but still uh, we cannot work with them so we're going to transform uh, these uh, points into a point save file so data sport data let's put it in the same directory test data yeah let's call it we can call it in the same way but to make it clear I'm going to name it test x y save file save okay do you want to add exported data to the map as a layer yes okay so uh, we have different layers now and we basically can remove the test and x and y uh, layers here we don't need them because this is the workable save file with our waypoint positions and we can start working for instance if we want to change the symbol we go to properties categories oh sorry features and change the symbol into solid triangles that's it